So I was having a conversation with my old lady, and uh, it just so happens that we were talking about movies randomly, and I asked her if she had seen any really good ones, and she, surprisingly enough, said, yeah, I actually caught a photography movie from Johnny Depp uh, not too long ago. And I'm like, what? Johnny Depp photography movie? What are you talking about? She's like, yeah, he, he released some, uh, an indie film uh, right in the thick of the pandemic. It's called Mina Mata. And I'm like, okay, I'll definitely check it out. So I go on Amazon Prime, I watch the movie, and I was completely floored. I mean, this movie is absolutely amazing. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you why every single photographer on earth, regardless if we shoot weddings or portraits or landscapes or products, I think we should all watch this movie. Mm, 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 mm. So good to be seen and it's even better to see you. What's going on? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well, staying safe. I'm Francis, destination wedding photographer based out of Puerto Rico. And if you are new to the channel and love this uh, topic, as well as the occasional Lightroom hack and gear review, then hey, you come to the right channel. So it's a pleasure to meet you. So going back to the intro, I actually watched Mina Mata. And the reason why I'm highly incentivized to make this video is because I think it's a must watch. Um, I know that for a fact, I picked up a camera because I had a reason to. I had a reason to because I wanted to document, you know, animal cruelty and animal welfare and all of these things that, you know, are very near and dear to my heart. And that's actually why I started making videos in the first place. Today, I've sort of gravitated towards wedding photography, which is ultimately what I've been doing recently. But the point I'm trying to make here is that you watching this video, you have a reason to pick up a camera. And it could be, you know, that you love shooting people, uh, women, you love shooting landscapes, you adore making product photography for companies that hire you on uh, on a fell swoop. It doesn't really matter. I know that you have a reason why you, you picked up a camera. And the without giving too much away, obviously, um, Mina Mata centers around the reason why we actually pick up a camera. So Johnny Depp in this movie, and again, no spoilers, um, he is a photographer. He goes by the name of um, Eugene Smith. This is basically a, a biopic. Um, so he plays the role of Eugene Smith, who happened to be a photographer, a film photographer, as you can imagine, way back in the 70s. And uh, this is a, a biopic of how he was shooting for Life magazine, which was a really uh, well known back in that decade. And um, the, the story itself centers around controversy uh, that was taking place in Japan. Uh, in terms of, um, you know, some companies uh, completely um, oblivious to the fact that their um, their toxic waste is making them its way towards the ocean and thus, thus polluting the ocean way back in the 70s in a bay in Japan. And it was ultimately uh, poisoning people with mercury. Um, and so the, the whole story, uh, the, the, the storyline centers around um, documenting, uh, Johnny Depp documenting this, this uh, ordeal that's taken place uh, way back in the day. And so that's going to be the plot line. But the, the reason why I think we should all watch it is because it's going to drive home. It's going to definitely drill uh, your passion, or it, it actually could take it to another level. Uh, because I know for a fact that when you wake up in the morning and you feel like shooting, there's there's a, a driving force behind that. And we should all watch Minamata because it truly embodies the the essence of what it is to to grab one of these amazing cameras and document life and, you know, portray real life events. Um, and it, it may not be about documenting for you. It may just be about the, the thrill of the art creation process. And that's fine too. But at the end of the day, I know that you press this shutter button on your Sony, on your Canon, Fuji, whatever you shoot with, and you have a really good reason to. And so I think that by watching this movie, you will be you know, re-inspired if you're, you know, feeling down the dumps and, and or going through a tough, you know, patch in your life. Um, it's going to be getting your creative juices flowing. And it's definitely going to put you in tune with something bigger than yourself, something bigger than photography. And I genuinely wanted to make this video because I think it's not just a great flick, but 
the fact that they got Johnny Depp to uh, to play this role as such a mainstream celebrity um, is actually mind blowing. And uh, I think that you know, if you have a, a couple of uh, hours to spare, uh, you know, watch it before bed or whatever. Just you know, matinee it. I don't give a. Shit. It's such a great movie, and I think that every photographer should watch it. There, that's it. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. Um, you know, treat yourself to some popcorn. Watch this movie, and uh, let me know in the comments after you do. I'd love to hear um, what you guys have to think uh, about uh, Mina Mata. Again, it's M I N A M A T A. It's actually the name of the uh, city in Japan uh, for which is named. So. Watch the movie, let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, I'll check back in with you, and uh, we can banter back and forth about it. Anyway, short video today. Literally, that's all I wanted to do today. Again, my name is Francis. Thank you so much for watching. And again, leave me a comment about the movie. I'd love to banter back and forth. See you in the next one.